now you will see the differences between zendal communication system and optical communication system so communication means transferring of information between source and destination in zendal communication system or in any other any other communication system there is the information source and there is the information destination and the source and destination must be connected so let us consider we are going to transfer our voice so it's not possible to transmit the information i mean uh, to transmit the sound signal as it is over the channel so for that we have to convert uh, the physical information into electrical signals uh, and these electrical signals must be transmitted over the channel in case of the general communication system so here to convert uh, the physical information into electrical signals here there is a electrical transmitter at the source side and uh, electrical receiver at the receiver side right so the main purpose of this electrical transmitter is to convert uh, the physical information into electrical signal and that converted electrical signal will be digitized and then that will be encoded and then that will be modulated and will be amplified and that signal will be sent to the channel and at the receiver side the receiver receives the the receiver receives the electrical information and that electrical information generally it it may be in the forms of zeros and ones uh, so we can't interpret uh, that information if it is in the form of zeros and ones if it is in the form of electrical signals so again we have to we have to decode that information and uh, process that information and we have to convert that processed electrical signal into physical information so electrical receiver converts the electrical signal into the physical signal and whereas the electrical transmitter it converts the physical information into electrical signal and uh, to carry uh, all this if you see this electrical transmitter and electrical receiver they will be connected using a transmission medium so the transmission medium is nothing but either coaxial cable in case of uh, low frequencies and medium frequencies and uh, it may be the waveguide in case of micro communication or it may be a free space in case of the wireless communication system so whether it is uh, either the digital communication system or a radar communication system or micro communication system so in the channel always the information is being transmitted in the form of the electrical signals but if you see the bandwidth of uh, these coaxial cables or in case of microwaves in case uh, wave guides the bandwidth is uh, relatively less when compared to optical frequencies and now look at the optical communication system so how the optical communication system is uh, differing from conventional communication systems we'll see now and here also in optical communication system in optical communication system there is a information source and the destination and for converting the physical information into electrical signal and to process that one we need a electrical transmitter now we will see how the optical communication system is differing from our conventional communication system so similar to in, in any other communication here also there is a information source and destination and uh, to connect uh, this source information to destination uh, destination there is the trans there is a requirement of transmitter and receiver but here in place of uh, electrical transmitter here in optical communication there will be optical transmitter and optical receiver and to connect optical transmitter and optical receiver we need a transmission medium which is nothing but the optical fiber cable which is nothing but the 
optical fiber cable and how this optical transmitter and electrical transmitter are differing what is the main difference between optical transmitter and electrical transmitter how optical receiver is differing from electrical receiver we will see now now just think here what is required initially there is the physical information we want to uh, for instance just assume we are going to transmit our voice signals so the information the physical information is the voice signal this voice signal first of all it should be converted into electrical form and that electrical signal should be processed means it should be amplified modulated encoded so all these things we have to do so to perform all these electrical operations here there is a requirement for electrical transmitter but in optical communication system light information must be transferred in the form of the light so now in the first step we have converted our physical signals into electrical signals now these electrical signals must be converted into optical signal right so physical to electrical conversion and then electrical to optical conversion is required and then that optical signal that light signal will be carried out by using the optical fiber cable so here in the channel the information is transferred in the form of the light and at the receiver side the receiver receives the light information if the information is in the form of the light we can't understand the data so we need to convert this light information into physical information once again and for converting that here there is an optical receiver now assume how the conversion will go on so here initially the optical receiver receives the light signal from the channel and then that light information will be converted into electrical signal and that electrical signal will be converted into physical signal so which is the uh, which is nothing but exactly reverse operation which we have done in the transmitter section so in the transmitter section electrical signal is converted into optical signal and whereas in uh, receiver section optical signal must be converted into electrical signal right and then that electrical signal should be processed with the help of the electrical receiver and finally it will be sent to the destination right so here for the conversion of physical information to the electrical signal we need to have the electrical transmitter here also so in the optical transmitter one major component must be the electrical transmitter also right that electrical transmitter that electrical transmitter converts the physical information into electrical signal and that electrical signal will be processed and then this elect processed electrical information must be converted into light and to convert the electrical signal into light signal we are using the optical source we are using the light source generally that optical source is nothing but either light emitting diode or laser diode simple diodes only either led or laser so this optical source takes the electrical signal as the input and provides the light signal as the output so here what is the input to optical source that is nothing but the electrical information and output will be optical information so here at the end of this optical source whatever the information where we want to transfer that information is uh, converted into light form so now our information is in the light form and that light information will be given to the optical fiber cable which is nothing but our transmission medium right and then this light information is transferred it is uh, transferring in the form of the door by using the principle total internal reflection our light information will be transferring through this optical fiber cable and uh, this light information is received by this light information is received by optical detector this light information is received by optical detector so usually the optical detector is nothing but either the pin photodiode or avalanche photodiode so the main responsibility of this optical detector is it has to detect the 
light information which is coming from optical fiber cable and that light information must be converted into electrical form and since we are using this optical fiber cables for longer distance communications generally the receiver may receive the weak signals so here receiver must be in a position to detect weak signals also so for that we have to use the high sensitivity receivers so here the optical the requirement for the optical detector is the sensitivity of this detector must be very high then only it can able to detect weak signals which are coming from the channel and this optical detector by taking the right signal that light information it will be converted into electrical signal and the optical detector's output is electrical signal and that electrical signal will be processed by means of decoding first step will be pre amplification and then amplification and then decoding so the exactly reverse operations to the electrical transmitter will be done in the electrical receiver and uh, at the end of the electrical receiver there will be a transducer that converts the electrical signal into the actual physical information so whatever the information we want to transfer from the information source initially that is converted into electrical signal and then initially that is converted into electrical signal and that electrical signal will be processed by electrical transmitter and then processed electrical signal that will be converted into processed electrical signal will be converted into optical signal using the optical source and in the optical fiber cable uh, the information is transferred in the form of the light and finally this light information is received uh, at the optical detector this optical detector converts the optical signal into electrical signal and this electrical signal will be converted into physical information this electrical signal is converted into physical information right so these are the steps involved in the transmission of any signal over the channel so this is briefly about uh, the optical communication system